Day two of a three-day truce between Israel and Hamas and some Palestinians have returned to the destruction that was once their homes. During nearly four weeks of fighting, the town of Betlaya saw some of the heaviest bombardments as Israel sought to defeat Hamas militants. It's been estimated it will take $6 billion to rebuild Gaza, but that depends on talks in Cairo producing a longer-term peace. We're comfortable with the mediation of our Egyptian brothers and hope that this Egyptian position will lead to an Arab and international agreement, which in turn will lead to actual international pressure on Israel to lift the siege on the Gaza Strip. Israel has its own objectives for any longer-term peace agreement. We don't want to see more rockets, we don't want to see any more terror tunnels. And so we have to make sure that Hamas cannot rebuild its very uh, uh, formidable terrorist military machine. In the longer term, of course, we have to talk about demilitarizing the Gaza Strip. For the first time in weeks, children have been seen playing in Gaza City, but the temporary truce is all too fragile. Some Israelis say the offensive should go on in case Hamas has more tunnels by which to launch attacks, while the death and destruction dealt out to Palestinians may have reinforced support for the militants.